Okay, let's take a look at this graph. So theoretically, hypothetically, you get a question. You've got these beautiful looking mountains and you're informed that these are levels of hormones in the menstrual cycle. And there are two that are outlined here, but you should know that whenever you're in trouble in the reproductive cycle, especially with the menstrual cycle, you should be yelling out, Felp, Felp because F stands for FSH, E is estrogen, L is LH, and P is progesterone. These are, these are the, uh, this is the order by which these hormones actually peak. So F is gonna peak first, and then estrogen is gonna peak next, and LH is gonna peak next, and then progesterone is gonna peak next. In this diagram, I only have, it's only showing me progesterone, and it's showing me LH. And if the question asks me out of A, B, C, and D, well, I could ask different questions depending on which answer I want to be correct. But um, let's say if the question was, when did her menstrual bleed actually start? When did her menstrual bleed actually start? A, B, C, or D? Well, I've been looking for FSH, but this isn't showing me that, so I can't use this here and I can't actually use estrogen here. So we're just looking at luteinizing hormone and progesterone. There's a couple ways to approach this. First of all, I know that when LH hits a peak, and it's usually a really sharp peak, it's this one right here, LH is associated with ovulation. And ovulation is when the ovum is released, okay? And the ovum is released. I know that ovulation usually takes place uh, on average. It's like day 14 after the bleed starts. So. Do I have any information here? Well, I can see that there's a big peak in LH. This is the dotted line here. Uh, can I use a highlighter? I cannot. LH right here is this line, this dotted line, and I can see there's a huge peak there. This tells me that at this peak, there must be probably ovulation happening. And if that's ovulation happening, then that's probably around day 14, then I know that her period started roughly well, where day one is, so I have to count backwards from day 14. So two weeks from 36 days takes me approximately back to this region around here. The only letter that's pointing roughly in that region is C. So if the question was, where did her menstrual, menstrual bleed begin, then C would be the best answer. I also know that progesterone progesterone, uh, if I trace this line here, here's progesterone. Progest pro progesterone is needed to maintain the wall of the uterine lining. And uh, if progesterone drops here, then no need for uterine wall. No fertil fertilization is taking place, no pregnancy. If this remains high, then I know that she possibly has been uh, successfully fertilized and she must maintain the uterine wall in order to provide a home for the embryo. But because this is actually dropped, that gives me another suggestion that this, when progesterone drops, we've reached the end of the menstrual cycle and therefore bleeding will start to begin again. So that's one way that I can think of that, think of progesterone levels to give me the answer. The question was the same though, when does the menstrual bleed start? See if you can make up your own question. Go to the beginning of the video when there wasn't stuff all written down. Try to make up another question uh, that could be addressed where B might be the right answer, where A might be the right answer, where D might be the right answer to uh, test your understanding of the changes in hormone levels. But don't forget, whenever you're in trouble, just yell out, Felp, and absolutely nothing will happen, but it might help you to solve a question or two. All right, good luck.